this is a uh, follow-up video on the uh, color chuck grinding and uh, color testing video from last week. I got some new ideas from the uh, comments on that video that uh, I want to try out. For recutting the internal taper here, I uh, referenced the top slide against the original taper that had uh, quite a bit of run out and uh, might actually have been at a slight angle inside the color chuck. I guess uh, that wasn't one of my uh, best ideas. When I was uh, testing the remachined uh, chuck, I got the feeling that the uh, 8 degree taper might be slightly off. I think the uh, taper might be uh, too tight in the rear because the uh, colors are popping out faster than they were before. Instead of referencing against an uh, existing taper, someone suggested I should uh, calculate the angle of the top slide. If set correctly, a uh, 5 cm travel parallel with the bed of the lathe should result in a um, 7.02 mm deflection on the uh, dial indicator when registered against the uh, side of the top slide. This is a uh, great idea if only uh, my lathe had a uh, carriage. Without a carriage it's hard to move the uh, top slide or a compound slide, whatever you want to call it, uh, parallel with the bed. After uh, unlocking the slides I tried pushing them with the uh, tailstock. This uh, more or less worked, but uh, the tailstock has no graduated dial, so it's hard to move uh, the slides in a uh, precise amount. Then I remembered I have a uh, spare compound slide that I bought for uh, making a milling attachment one day. It has a uh, nice graduated dial here, and uh, when bolted to the lathe bed, it's perfect for uh, pushing the uh, slides. I think this is going to uh, work just fine. I will add some uh, weight to the uh, rear of the cross slide to uh, stabilize it a bit. I haven't uh, used the lathe since last week, so the angle on the top slide should still be the same. Um, if I move the uh, compound here for 10 turns, that's 1 centimeter, the uh, deflection on the needle here should be um, 1.4 millimeter. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, And that's then um, one full turn and three tenths and a bit. That's uh, 1.32 millimeter. I just calculate the angle, and it's about uh, 7.6 uh, degrees. So that's quite a bit off. And uh, to be honest, a bit strange because I was expecting an uh, angle greater than eight degrees. I'm going to take another measurement and this time I'm uh, referencing against the dovetail in case uh, the uh, tool rest here isn't completely parallel with the uh, dovetails. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. That looks like uh, 1.36 millimeters. That's definitely a bit more. And according to the online calculator, that's about 7.7 uh, .7 degrees. That's still no 8 degrees, so I guess I uh, need to bore out this uh, color chuck again if uh, I'm going to make it useful. But first, I'm going to show you something else. Now, before I did any uh, work on this uh, color chuck, uh, taking out the colored wind in uh, two stages. First, you loosen up the uh, colored nut and a bit further, the offset uh, lip inside the uh, colored nut would break free the uh, colored from its uh, taper. Um, 
after uh, boring out the chuck this uh, changed and uh, the taper would no longer hold the collet but now after uh, grinding the uh, taper things have uh, changed back to how it was before so even though the uh, grinding wasn't a great success it does look like it uh, did improve things a bit it's a bit strange perhaps I uh, should have taken a spring cut or maybe the uh, the gip is a bit loose uh, allowing the tool rest to slightly rotate under uh, the tool pressure I don't know some have uh, suggested in the comments that uh, the thread on here might be the uh, source of my uh, inconsistent run out others have uh, pointed their finger at the uh, collet knot I'm not sure but uh, maybe they uh, both play a role I already know that the uh, outside of the uh, chuck isn't running uh, completely concentric with the internal taper but I have a hard time uh, believing that uh, one or two hundredths of a millimeter have a huge influence on the uh, color run out but what do I know I've been wrong many times before this is the uh, 10 millimeter color it's the best one of the three I tested so far let's check the run out without using a collet nut so that looks uh, pretty good right let's see what happens if I move it to the outside still pretty decent now let's uh, add a colored nut now that certainly hasn't uh, improved things I bought some uh, more colored nuts I have uh, four in total now uh, I'm testing the second one here and uh, I'm going to test the other two as well but I uh, expect no difference in the result that's even a bit more uh, run out than the uh, second uh, colored nut let's uh, try the last one yeah, it's more or less the same as the second colored nut so all four colored nuts uh, add uh, extra run out and it's hard to believe that uh, all four of them are defective so maybe the problem is the threads after seeing the 10 millimeter card run so nice and through without the uh, colored nut you might be thinking maybe this uh, set isn't uh, that bad I was uh, thinking that so I uh, was planning on testing the other uh, two colors I tested before also without the uh, colored nut while the uh, 16 millimeter I accidentally dropped into the uh, chip pan and it will take forever to get that clean so it's going back inside the chip pan the uh, 5 millimeter that is actually a 5.5 millimeter it is uh, too hard to uh, compress without a collet nut so it's out so I decided to unbox another collet and this is uh, the 8 millimeter but uh, it turns out the bore inside here is uh, tapered so at this point I decided uh, this card set is just bad and there's no uh, point in testing any further cards let's focus on the chuck and uh, the colored nut so these are the uh, four Chinese colored nuts I have so far and to be honest the machining on these looks uh, pretty good on a couple there are some uh, sharp edges on the threads but overall I think they look very nice the lettering on this one is a bit different than the rest it has the word not on here it also uses a different font this one should have been rejected because of the uh, failed lettering according to uh, one comment the uh, problem with these uh, Chinese colored nuts 
is the uh, offset lip here that uh, pushes out the cord. According to him it's too small so he bored it out to uh, fix his uh, run out uh, problems. I've uh, measured the opening here and on all four cards it's about um, 32.5 or maybe 32.6 millimeters. Now I don't know if this is also the problem for me but uh, I'm willing to sacrifice one of these uh, nuts in order to find out. I did notice a uh, small uh, difference in the uh, front opening size so the collet isn't uh, sitting uh, flush with the uh, front of the collet nut but uh, to be honest I don't know um, if it is uh, supposed to sit flush Twenty-seven five one, twenty-seven three eight, twenty-seven three three. So this one is definitely the smallest. It is also a bit lower than the other ones. And because of the different lettering, this one might be uh, from a different factory. These are probably from the same. I think this should be close enough. I don't want to spend more time uh, trying to indicate this thing. Let's bore it out. Eh, it's hard to see anything in there it will be like uh, shooting in the dark here we go oh that's hard very hard Very, very, very hard. Let's remove a bit more. It's a lot softer now. That should be enough. So it went from 32.5 to 34.4. So I almost took out uh, a full millimeter on both sides. That might be a bit much, but. Worst case scenario, I will need to hammer out the uh, collet. So my uh, favorite collet is uh, running nice and uh, true again. Let's uh, add the uh, modified uh, collet nut. Well this nut isn't going to uh, push out any uh, collets anymore. Here we go. Well that doesn't look any better than uh, before uh, I modified the nut. Look at that. It still pushed the uh, Call it loose. I just changed the angle on the uh, top slide or compound slide if that's what you prefer. 
I should be uh, pretty close to uh, 1.4 millimeter. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and that's ten turns. So I might be one hundredth off, but I should be close. So let's bore out the uh, color shock taper again. Who knows, maybe uh, I get lucky. <sighs> well, I took my time for that cut. That feels nice. I also uh, took out quite a bit of material because a heavier cut is usually easier than a uh, very light cut. Um, I'm wondering if I should do a spring cut. No, I'm not going to do a spring cut. I will use some uh, fine sandpaper and then uh, take a bit of the uh, front here to uh, bring the opening back to uh, uh, 32 millimeters. Well, that's got to be good enough. Let's do a test fit. It's very hard to tell if I have improved things. Let's uh, face off the front. I faced off the front of the uh, chuck, brought the opening back to about 32 millimeters. Um, Deburred the inside edge, and now I'm going to chamfer the uh, thread on the outside here. Uh, I don't know why. We're down to uh, guesswork here. Let's test it again. So here's the uh, 10 millimeter card again. I don't know why that needle is so nervous. Might be some vibration. Strange. It's not the most uh, stable uh, mag base. Anyway, let's. Uh, Add a uh, colored nut. I'm using the uh, modified colored nut. It's hard to uh, keep the color behind the, the lip. Here we go. Yeah, that uh, still added some extra run out. Well, I'm pretty much convinced that uh, the problem is with these uh, threads here. It's either the uh, outside diameter run out or the threads are not square on here. But, uh, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I won't be able to fix this. I think I'm better off uh, making my own uh, color chuck. Anyway, that's it for me. Bye bye.
it's been uh, brought to my attention that uh, I actually misspelled my uh, YouTube name. Apparently, Rolling should have been spelled with uh, two L's. By the way, it uh, took you guys long enough to point out this uh, stupid mistake. But now that I'm uh, over my embarrassment, I have a couple of options for you to uh, decide. So let's have a little poll. Option 1. Change the name to uh, Rolling Metal. Make it a single word, but uh, with double L's. 2. Change the name to Rolling Metal. Make it two words. Two L's, but no hyphen. I uh, hate hyphens. They are just so negative. Option 3. Own my uh, mistake and uh, leave it like it is. Who cares about grammar anyway? This is the uh, easiest option and uh, probably my favorite. Option 4. I was right and the rest of the world is obviously wrong. And now I uh, should make it my mission to uh, have double L rolling banned from all dictionaries. You decide, but uh, remember, this is a no democracy.